Can I first express my condolences to the family and the government of Ukraine for the tragic uh, helicopter accident that caused the loss of 18 lives. It's a very sad event. The Russian invasion of Ukraine continues to produce victims. It is very important that the international community remains firm in resolving the Ukrainian crisis in a fair way. So, Mr. Minister, Romania and Bulgaria are hoping since 2011 to join the Schengen area, the year when the EU institution had, for the first time, reached the conclusion that they both meet the necessary technical conditions. All this time, Greece was among the countries that had supported the accession of Romania and Bulgaria to the Schengen space. However, people may ask, why is Greece launching this in initiative and why now? First of all, Greece has always been a supporter of Romanian and Bulgarian accession to the Schengen region. We have voted in favor in the recent Council of the European Union meeting. We have been disappointed by the fact that uh, a veto has been placed on the accession of Romania. Greece has taken the initiative for three reasons. First of all, we think it's fair. Bulgaria and Romania have met all the conditions. They have comply fully with the Schengen acquis, and therefore they are duly entitled to join the Schengen zone. Second, we think that it's very important in battling uh, irregular migration that we have more, not less Europe. The fact that Romania and Bulgaria will join Schengen, it will mean that more security for Europe will be provided. And I think that needs to be a common goal. And thirdly, it's also important for Greece. We, ha we have been very clear from the very beginning. It allows us to connect uh, from Greece to the rest of the European Union through Bulgaria and Romania. It's very important for the tourist industry. It's very important for economic cooperation bilaterally and also within the European Union framework. So I visited um, Austria. I met with the Austrian Chancellor, Karl Nehammer, my Austrian counterpart. I also met the Bulgarian Minister of the Interior and today the Romanian Minister of the Interior. We're working together with the presidency of the European Union currently held by Sweden and by the with the European Commission to find the necessary steps to resolve this crisis sooner rather than later. Following the diplomatic contacts you have initiated and the presentation of the priorities of the Swedish Presidency of the EU Council in the European Parliament, what do you think is a realistic time frame for further Schengen enlargement? I think, first of all, we need to agree on the concrete steps that need to be met for uh, Austria and for the Netherlands to waive their, their veto. And this is what we're trying to do now and also there will be a number of bilateral meetings that will take place in the coming weeks. Uh, hopefully we will make an announcement at the informal council in Stockholm of the steps that we have taken by now. It, it is very difficult at this stage to put a time frame, frame, but I would hope that we will resolve the crisis within 2023. After the failure to join the Schengen space in December, many Romanians, including state officials, have spoken about the uncoupling of Romania and Bulgaria in this process, considering the fact that Bulgaria is also fa facing, like you said, unlike Romania, the opposition of Netherlands. What do you think about the idea, especially in the light of the fact that thousands of Romanians who are traveling by car in Greece every year will be most affected if the two countries do not join Schengen area together? I think it will be very difficult, both practically and politically, to decouple uh, the two applications. Uh, it will mean that there will be need to have a Schengen border erected between uh, Bulgaria and Romania for a short period of time that will be enormously complicated. It will require a redesign of the whole Schengen process for Bulgaria and Romania. And also politically, both countries have met the requirements. Uh, we do understand that there are some additional concerns about Bulgaria, but these have to be resolved and they are being resolved by the European Commission by producing the necessary documentation about the application of the rule of law principles in all EU member states. So I think the progress could be made also in the case of Netherlands and I should be meeting my Dutch counterpart soon. The heads of EU institution had all said last year that Romania and Bulgaria will join the Schengen zone in 2023. What do you think uh, it would mean if Romania and Bulgaria would not succeed to join Schengen this year either, having in mind the long history of disappointments of the two countries in this respect? I think, first of all, it would be very negative for the Schengen region itself. Uh, all European Union member states should eventually join Schengen. I think that must be a goal and that is how we will foster a stronger feeling of cooperation and security for the European Union. I think the fact that we have faced security challenges over the years 
notably in migration, it requires more Europe. It requires more structural uh, and institutional cooperation and the lack of uh, Romania and Bulgaria, it is a handicap for the Schengen zone itself. You have had discussions last week in the frame of your initiative with the Austrian Ch Chancellor Karl Nehammer and the Interior Minister Ge uh, Gerhard Karmer. What was the response of the two Austrian officials? How they received your initiative concerning the Schengen accession of Romania and Bulgaria? More generally speaking, how do you see the demands of Austria in the area of migration and asylum? As I also said in the Council meeting in December, I appreciate that Austria has faced considerable migratory pressures. And I think we have reached a time that most EU member states are genuinely complaining about the level of arrivals in 2022. So it becomes even more critical to protect the external borders of the European Union. And what I discussed with my Austrian counterpart and with the Austrian Chancellor is that by protecting the external borders of Bulgaria and Romania can only be positive for the European Union. Also, I think it will be positive for the European Union for Frontex to become again active in Hungary to ensure that the uh, current Schengen area is well protected at the external border. I think the initiative of Greece is well received and we hope that we will uh, have a fruitful conclusion. You said on Tuesday at an event in Greece that your minister has two goals which are substantial reduction of migration flows and to drastically reduce the impact of the migration crisis on local communities which you said is now already limited in Greece. How can the flow of migrants be reduced? Do you also rely on external resources to reduce the, the impact? I think the Europe uh, needs to have two targets in discussing the new pact on migration and asylum. First of all, Europe needs to find ways uh, to reduce the overall arrivals in the European Union and to that end, there's a number of things that can be done. First of all, is strengthening the external dimension, more agreement with countries of origin and countries of transit. We need to put more emphasis in protecting the external border. I think fences need to be built where they are needed. It is the less violent way of protecting the external border. This is the one set of priorities that the EU should have. The second set of priorities, we need to find a more equitable way, a more um, effective way of providing solidarity to first reception countries. Dublin is obviously out of date. Uh, a lot of commission officials have said that on the record, that Dublin is dead but we are still yet to find the alternative, the evolution of Dublin. And I think that needs to be reached through the new uh, Pact of Migration and Asylum. Greece is a strong advocate of having progress on this pact, but we don't see yet uh, considerable progress made on the element of solidarity. So one final, final question, if I may. A lot of people are saying that uh, uh, EU is starting a, a Schengen reform this year, so the, the Commission will do a presentation and then the interinstitutional process will begin. Do you think that the uh, launching of, of this Schengen reform will be uh, an obstacle for the enlargement of Schengen and the accession of Romania and Bulgaria? I think on the contrary, it makes it even more um, urgent that Bulgaria and Romania join so they can become active participants in the debate for the evolution of Schengen.